So uh, one of the phrases that Chalmers uses a lot in the article is the phrase functional isomorph, and uh, you can see it highlighted here on the PDF. And that's kind of a, uh, it's a strange phrase. It doesn't show up in the glossary that I have linked on Canvas or anything. Um, I'm not sure he explains it perfectly well, so uh, I thought I'd explain it so that it makes some sense. So a functional isomorph is, uh, we get into talking about it because Chalmers is interested in the functions of the mind. So what are the functions of the mind? What are the functions of consciousness? Sort of what does consciousness do? And if you think about it, well, how does our consciousness work? Well, our consciousness lets us see things and hear things and smell things and taste things. We're sort of, these are our conscious experiences. This is what it's like to be conscious. This is what your mind can do. Consciousness also controls your limbs and stuff like this. You can consciously move uh, your hands and your arms and your legs around and stuff. So that's sort of, those are the functions of consciousness. That's what consciousness does, these sorts of things and many other things too. Consciousness understands language, consciousness can work out math problems, blah. That's what consciousness does. So these are the functions of consciousness. And a functional isomorph is something that is, has the same functions as your mind. It carries out the same functions that your mind is carrying out. So what would a functional isomorph of your mind be? Here's one possibility. Maybe a computer could be a functional isomorph of your mind. Maybe a computer could see things and hear things and smell things and taste things and move your limbs around and stuff. How? Well, you know, maybe let's replace your brain with a computer uh, and upload your mind into that computer. And now the computer is doing all the things that uh, your brain used to do. Functional and functional isomorph just refers to these functions. So the things that your mind does, the things your consciousness does, the things that your brain does. Isomorph just means uh, the same. So uh, in math, something's like isomorphic, if you can sort of like map one to one with a function going back and forth. That idea of a function is not the sort of function that he's talking about here. Functional here is the functions of consciousness and things like this. And isomorph just means it's doing all the same stuff as your mind. So iso is the same, morph I think is shape. So it's just, it's the same shape as your mind. It's the same structure as your mind. It's identical to your mind, in fact. And so the thought is, would a functional isomorph be you? Would that computer be you? If it's doing all the stuff that you do, it sort of seems like it's you, but would that be you? So that's our question in this unit.